family, friends, and the community are coming together tonight to honor the life of a 14-year-old girl just a day after she was shot and killed in Tacoma's Hilltop neighborhood. Good evening. I'm Jessica Janner Castro. I'm Steve Solis. His dozens hit the streets for a peaceful protest. News broke that two 17-year-old boys are now under arrest for that shooting. King 5's Julie Calhoun is there and joins us live with how the community is feeling. Julie. Steve, people are devastated. Family and friends of Ayana Usri are mourning her loss tonight. They marched from here on South 19th Street MLK Way to a nearby park calling for an end to violence. Stop the violence! Stop the violence! Dozens marching in the streets after 14 year old Ayana was shot and killed Wednesday afternoon. The group Tacoma ceasefire organizing tonight's march and calling on parents in the community to come together and get guns out of kids hands. How can we rally around not only this family, but every family that has lost somebody in these streets due to bloodshed and violence? Friends described Ayana as spiritual and peaceful and said she didn't deserve her life to be cut short. A representative for the family read this statement. Ayana was a peacemaker in our family, always trying to pull the family together. She treated her friends and family. We were looking forward to her freshman year in high school. No words can describe the loss that we're feeling. Tacoma's mayor and police chief were marching tonight. They didn't want to talk to on camera. They said that tonight is about honoring Ayana and supporting her family. But the city will discuss its plan to address the recent rise in violence next week. Live in Tacoma, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.